Welcome back to TMZ Sports. I'm Mike Babcock. Mojo Mutati will be back with us in just a few minutes. But we have a very special guest. Uh, I'm so excited about this. As a guy who, like, loves the Olympics, uh, we have Rulon Gardner joining TMZ Sports. Uh, of course, you know, uh, part of one of the most famous, most well-known moments in Olympic history. Rulon, how are you? Thank you so much for being here. Oh, I'm doing great today. It's uh, great to be on TMZ. It's great to be back on the show. Yeah, we're so happy to have you. Uh, we were here. We're not going to talk about a match that happened, you know, 22 years ago or so. We're, we're going to talk about a match that just happened because, Rulon, I, I didn't know that this was something you were thinking about doing, but you actually, you got back on that mat and you wrestled a man that's like half your age. What were you thinking? Well, you know, you know, we're thinking about, you know, wrestling kind of defines our lives. And, you know, that's one of my good friends, Joe Warren. He was a world champ and Bellator MMA fighter. Yeah. And, you know, we were talking about it. I saw Joe kind of make a comeback for the last Olympics. I'm like, man, you know what? I still want to give more back to the sport of uh, the sport that I love. And that's wrestling. And, you know, when you have a goal like wrestling, it makes you get in shape. And so I've lost a substantial amount of weight, getting healthy again, getting back after it. And now it's getting on the mat every day. It hurts like heck. <laughs> But it's just it's so fun to be able to get out there and throw with these young kids. And, you know, it is it's crazy just thinking I'm wrestling kids that are half my age. Right. Well, yeah. What was the motivation? Was it a, a fitness thing? Did you just miss the sport? What was the motivation to actually say, I'm going to do this? Uh, you know, uh, like, like you said, almost two decades after retiring. Well, my oldest sister is a cardiologist and she first and foremost says, Rulin, you really need to, you know, take your health into consideration. You got to get healthy again. Wow. So, you know, health and fitness and, you know, having a, a long sustaining life, that was an important part of it. But then also I think leadership and uh, wrestling, you know, being able to get back to the sport of wrestling. I, I coach my uh, little kids club. I work with kids all the time. And now here's an opportunity to get back and be able to get down and throw down with some of the best guys in the world. Ruan, it doesn't sound like this was a one-time deal. It sounds like it's something that you at least uh, sporadically to plan on continuing to get out there. Um, it started about uh, August and it's like, you know wow. what, you're here, you might as well. So I started working out, started lifting again. I hadn't lifted in you know 18 years. Wow. So I started lifting again and, and my body's like, what are you doing? Cause you're so <laughs> sore all the time. But now it's like, I'm out there and competing and, you know, throwing down with some of the local kids here in Utah. And then it's like, all right, it's time to go out there. And I got to, you know, Curtis blades, you know, he's one of the, you know, the, you know, future UFC MMA, you know, champions of the future. I got to roll with him and he roughed me up pretty good. And really, then I really you know, to wrestle Jacob and he was a former national champion in Greco. So, you know, I'm, ro I'm rolling with some of the best guys in the country. And then eventually my goal is some of the best guys in the world. Wow. Uh, if, and tell me if this is something you don't want to answer when you say uh, you lost weight, uh, what are we talking here? Is a few pounds more? Uh, 150 plus. Yes. Wow. That is that's inc that's absolutely incredible. What did your sister say? She must have been so proud of you. But that's amazing. You know, she was the oldest of nine of us. So wow. you would think she was proud of me. She's like, she never should have let it you know, get in any way to begin with. You know, I'm like, that, you know, it's, it's hindsight. But, you know, I think ultimately at the end of the day, it's not where you, you know, you wanted to be or where you were. It's where you want to, you know, where you're eventually going to become. And so for me, you know, realizing you now, now I'm 50 years old, it's time to really get fitness underneath control and get myself back to the way it was when I was competing to win the Olympics. That's incredible. I, I mean, I don't know where you would compete. Is this something that you would actually like to formally compete somewhere, uh, Rulon? Oh, 100%. Um, the match we wrestled the other day, it was um, just an exhibition match. But, you know, it's a former national champ, a guy that uh, has been wrestling, uh, you know, for the last you know few years at what's called the W cap. And that's a world class athlete program for the U.S. Army. And so having him and uh, he was, you know, he, you know, he was wondering, you know, how good we would do. We met the one day we trained and then it's like, all right, here's our goal. And our goal is to go out there and show that we can still compete with the top level wrestlers in the world and so i know i can compete with the guys in the u.s so the question is is do i have what it takes in my 50s to get back to the olympic games would you say that's the goal um 100 you know to show the sport of wrestling the love that we have for it and then also you know go back and how many people would ever think that a 50 year old would want to make the olympic team right i mean that would be one of the greatest athletic accomplishments certainly one of the greatest olympic accomplishments ever right to battle back after all those years well, you know, Dara Torres, you know, she did it a few years ago as a swimmer in her 40s. Yeah. And, you know, nobody's ever thought about doing it in your 50s, and especially a combat sport wrestling, like wrestling, yeah. because 
it, you know, it's not easy on the body. You know, you're talking about getting hit in the head. You're talking about, you know, getting hit in the body, like shoulders and knees. And there's just so many body parts. Like I started, you know, last year started throwing people and like, Oh my gosh, you know, I was throwing guys and my body's saying, what are you doing? And it, it still says that, but it's like getting on, you know, getting back on the bike and it feels normal again. It's just kind of uh, looking at, at where the sport has gone over the last two decades. Are you uh, satisfied with the with the progress that wrestling has made? It, it, it seems like it's more mainstream now. You're, you're you know, flow grappling. You're seeing, uh, you know, outlets like that out there. Are you satisfied with where wrestling is? Well, there's there's a combination. You, know, you have high school wrestling and collegiate wrestling that you yeah. do in high school, then college, and then eventually, yeah. you know, you get to the international level. You have freestyle and Greco, and freestyle is killing it right now. Women's yeah. wrestling is killing it. You know, one of the fastest growing sports in the world. But Greco Roman, the style that I did, yeah. you know, Randy Couture, Dan Henderson, um, Joe Warren, you know, we're all Greco, you know, Olympic athletes, and yeah. we 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 don't see the growth in Greco Roman. Yeah. And that's the one thing about it is we want to get out there and say, you know what, we're American Greco. This is what Greco is about, and uh, uh, you know, I look at guys like, you know, the, the Dan Henderson, he was nasty on the, you know, in, in the cage, in the ring, but man, he was amazing on the mat too. And people don't see that part of him. And I fought once in MMA and I, I, I enjoyed my experience, but I only fought once. And for me getting back on the mat, you know, I can demonstrate and support the sport of wrestling that I love and, you know, was part, it's part of my life. You know, I'm 50 years old. I've been wrestling now for 45 years of my 50 years. Well, let's be honest. There's anybody that can, uh, you know, that can get some more attention on, on Greco-Roman wrestling. I mean, it's 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 obviously you, Ruland. So th this is incredible. Yeah, you know, Shell Sona and, you know, him and, and Joe Warren are like, we wondered if you had it. We, you know, we wanted to see if you still had it. And then this weekend, they're like, holy cow, you know, like you still got, man, nah, maybe you're not quite in shape until, you know, our goal is April. That's when we yeah. want to be in shape, down to weight, ready to rock and roll. But the foundation that you've given yourself and the body that you have, even though you're a little bit older, a little bit beat up, you still have the tools to be you know, my goal is be my best number of the Olympic gold medals, but they're like, man, you could win your third Olympic medal at 50 plus years old. That would be truly something special for the sport of wrestling. What is the goal weight, Rulon? The goal weight, um, the end of the day, my goal weight, I'd love to get down to about 250 pounds. That's my goal weight. And with as big a body as I have, um, you know, I have a lot of bone density. I, yeah. you know, like I'm the biggest loser. I have 220 pounds of muscle on my body. And so, yeah, so I have, I, I do have a lot of muscle with me, but then, you know, you know, overall bone density, all that type of stuff. And, you know, those are the things that kill you. Like I do have too much muscle mass. I need to make it lean, you know, muscle mass right. is what I'd like to do. I wish I had that problem. <laughs> I really like weights. Where's your squats? It's leg day. Let's go. <laughs> not just, not just biceps and triceps. We got to yeah. get your legs. Oh man, this, th thank you for doing this, Rulon. What an incredibly inspiring story. And uh, this is going to be a lot of fun to watch now, uh, you know, as you sort of uh, make your way towards getting back to that, uh, to the top of that Olympic mountain. Rulon, thank you so much. I, I appreciate you sharing your story. Oh, thanks. You know, it, it's honestly, you got to turn your brain on, you got to unleash the animal and, you know, they tapped into that energy this weekend. So now I think, you know, oh, yeah, what's, what's for dinner? What's for this? Now I'm thinking about wrestling moves and thinking about getting back on the map because, you know, once you commit to it, you got to believe it, you got to live it, you got to act it every day.